So it has been nearly two weeks since the partial closure of China's Ningbo port. This is one of the largest container ports in the world after a single positive COVID case froze activity in a big area of this port. The bottleneck from it stretching all the way to California, where the Wall Street Journal reports 37 huge ships are idling off the coast, waiting to unload at the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles. The size of this traffic jam, only slightly behind February's 40-ship pileup, triggered when hundreds and hundreds of dock workers were sickened with COVID. So this dog pile of issues is sending shipping prices to the moon. Last week on The Claim and Countdown, Ethan Allen, CEO Farouk Kathwari, put a stunning number on the cost. It really has been a challenge because uh, for us, 25% of our products are made offshore, and we are now waiting for containers where the price of a container has gone from $2,000 to $24,000. $2,000 to $24,000. The cost of shipping container rates overall has skyrocketed from $4,000 to about $20,000 per container from Asia to the U.S. and the East Coast in the last year alone. To the man running the second busiest port in all of North America, Mario Cordero, executive director of the Port of Long Beach. Mario, what direct effect are you seeing from the Ningbo port shutdown? Well, it's a significant effect, Liz, and thank you uh, for inviting me here. So the bottom line is today we have 37 vessels at anchor. To put that in perspective, earlier in the year when we had uh, the emerging crisis back in February, we had about 40. We went down to as low uh, a number of nine vessels at anchor in June. And now because of the uh, issues that we're having there with the major ports in China, we're now at 37. 37. So what, you're pushing it at this point. And is there any end in sight to what's going on in Ningbo from, look, they're being very fastidious, obviously. They, they shut down a big portion of the container area there because of one single COVID case. But any visibility as to when it's going to free up? Well, the COVID-19 ongoing health pandemic is, uh, again, a challenge. And as you've indicated, uh, they closed down a major terminal at Ningbo, the Mishan Terminal, uh, as a result of one particular worker testing positive. So this is going to be an ongoing dynamic until we have, at a global, at a global perspective, a, a good handle on the COVID-19. So I think I, I don't foresee an end to this anytime soon, unfortunately. So your port mostly accepts a lot of finished goods, right? You've got furniture coming in, parts, electronics, plastics, petroleum. Uh, we're seeing surge pricing for a lot of these companies. Who is waiting on cargo ships that are idling right now? Is it the big box retailers? Is it grocers? Can you give us a sense? It's all the above. Grocers, the big box retailers, consumers. Uh, and again, unfortunately, there, there's not a sector that's not impacted by this delay. Wow. And, and do you get a lot of complaints? I know you can't control the cost here, but we were hearing, obviously, from Ethan Allen and his furniture he's waiting on. He's seen a huge spike from, as you heard, about 2000 to 24000 per cargo. It's, it's really a tough time for these, these companies. Uh, that's correct, Liz. The shipping costs have gone through the roof. Now, on the other hand, I could represent to you that the Southern California ports here are doing a full court press to work with all the stakeholders to make sure we create greater efficiencies, and kind of think out of the box in terms of how we deal with these capacity issues. But suffice to say, this is a logistic crisis uh, on, on the heels of a health pandemic crisis. And it's not just Southern California. It's a global scenario in terms of the logistic, the international supply chain. Well, hang tough. You and your dock workers working very hard to free up this log jam. Mario Cordero of the Port of Long Beach.